I'm going to record it. We're starting the recording. Okay. Here we go. Um, thank you, Father. We just bless the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and I'm going to start it on. Um, I got it on gallery view. I hope it goes on gallery view as far as we go on Facebook. Because once you start streaming, um, let's just go ahead and start streaming. I'm going to go. Here we go, guys. Thank you, Jesus. It's getting ready, preparing to live stream meeting, it says. So we're getting ready to go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Just start Just start praying in the Holy Spirit, you guys. Start praying in the Holy Ghost. Yes, Father, we thank you right now in Jesus' name. God, we bless you right now. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you right now, Father. We're just thanking you, Jesus, right now for this live Facebook, live Zoom, prophetic prayer meeting. This is, um, we've been fasting for three days. This will be our third day of fasting and preparing for Jessup, Georgia, the tent revival. And so everybody is welcome to join us. There's a Zoom link that's on the top of my page. It'll be below the Facebook livers that are streaming. I won't be able to see you, but you can come into the room um, and pray with us. It's not just going to be me praying tonight. We got um, prophets and evangelists, pastors, teachers, apostles on here that are going to be praying with us um, and others that um, are going to be coming in. Um, and so just join with us because this is not about me. It's not about, um, you know, it's not about JPM Ministries, Global Ministries. It's about the move of the Holy Ghost in the earth that's about ready to hit. And I prophesied this other night on Prophetess Stephanie Hudson's um, digital gathering that this is the hour when God is going to display his power. And so we're going to get behind the cross. We're going to get behind and allow the Holy Spirit to demonstrate with his power, miracles, signs, wonders, healing, everything that he wants to do. We're going to put God out in front where he belongs once again, y'all. Come on, y'all. Let's get us out of the way and let the Holy Ghost move. OK, so when uh, good to see us, Samantha people coming in and so we're going to start putting ourselves behind the cross the lord said i want to display my power hallelujah and i want it to be seen yeah. among the nations says okay. the lord yeah. psalm 77 14 says this watch this you guys says uh he is the god that performs miracles hallelujah then he will display his power among the peoples so god is ready to move in such miracles that we have not seen exodus 34 verse 10 says that god said there would be a covenant of marvels in the last days such as not been seen among any people nor in any nation it's going to be a terrible thing god said i'm going to do with the people of god in the last days that is the remnant that is the people right now but it's not just us now we have been chosen Right. But we have been chosen to save those who are dying out there. See, this tent revival that God gave us is about soul salvation. Now, we're going to see miracles, healing signs and wonders also, but it's about soul salvation. We want to bring people to Jesus. That's what we're going to get back to. The Lord told me to do. Now, I'm a prophet and even an apostle, but the Lord told me to start doing the work of an evangelist. The Bible says to do the work of the evangelist and make full proof of your ministry and, and uh, uh my brother right there, Marquise, is a, an evangelist, so he knows all about that, that we're going out and we have a burden for the souls. Come on, people, all these shootings that are yeah. going on out there, all this yes. stuff that's going on, I have a whole prophetic word about that, but I'm not going to do that tonight. I'll do that on a June prophetic word about what is going on with these shootings and the mutation of the coronavirus and different things. The Lord gave me a, a lot of prophetic words. I don't want to do that tonight because tonight it's a break fast, y'all. It's a break fast. Those that have been fasting, and if you haven't been fasting with us, it's all right. It's all right. If you haven't fasted with us, you can still be here and pray because it's fasting and prayer. Most of the people that are fasting are a part of the revival, okay, that are our minstrels, musicians, people, and stuff like that. But you guys, we invited you in um, because we're all one body in Christ. We need, we're many members. We need everybody. Okay, I can't do this alone. There's no way. Okay, and 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 so God, um, you know, the honored guest is not Prophet James Milne at this event, at this tent revival. It's it's the Holy Ghost. The honored guest is going to be the Holy Ghost, and we're going to see His power like never before. I know the Lord has already told me that it's going to start a move in, in Georgia that 
that's going to spread throughout the United States. And we're going to be going from city to city uh, with these tent revivals. And we we just are, we're trusting God, even financially, we're trusting God. And so even tonight, I put a PayPal and cash app up there. And of course, it's not about money, but on Facebook, people that are um, listening, if God moves on your heart, I'm not put in an amount just help us by sewing paypal cash app zell demo whatever as we pray it's gonna be about maybe an hour and a half to two hours people have been fasting we've been fasting for three days and praying um and so it was 6 a.m to 6 p.m the first the second and the third all almost everybody on here i know has joined us is on the zoom actually right now um and I appreciate that. I, I mean, I, I'm grateful for you guys. I can't do this without you. We need each other and we need the unity. Um, mm -hmm. And so some people, and I went ahead and did the three day water fast because I'm the prophet that it will be, uh, you know, I'll be the one that is speaking and, and stuff. So I, I, I didn't, but a lot of people can't do that kind of fasting. Right. So I went ahead and did it six as the Holy spirit told me to 6 AM, 6 PM for some people. Now, other people, if you could only make it one day, I think it was uh, my niece's husband. Uh, he called me up and he said, I'm able to fast one day. Can I do that? And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, thank God. You know, we appreciate you fasting and praying with us because we're praying for soul salvation. Watch this notable miracle, signs and wonders and divine healing because we see notable healing miracles every day in this ministry. Um, people got healed just um, just yesterday. OK, so but I'm just saying that this this is going to go to another dimension here because it's going to be in person. And I've I've done events like that, uh, but not to this level where we're going to see like the maimed healed uh, people's body parts coming, legs growing back. I believe the maimed, the lane, all these kind of notable, notable what's called notable. And I and you know how God works with me in prophetic numbers. It was 412, and I got it on the screenshot on my um, on my clock. And 412 uh, is that God, um, you know, keeps His word. But also 412 is that in the name of Jesus that these things will be done, right? So we can do no. There's no other name given in among Acts 412 under heaven whereby we must be saved, right? And I'm going to go into a word about uh, Hebrews 4.12, which talks about the word of God, right? The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing the dividing of the soul and spirit and joints of marrow. And is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart, right? And so I want to just speak that and I'm going to start praying and then I'm just going to pack, pass the mic um, to other people, okay? That, and just let you guys pray too. What we're praying for is to set the atmosphere and the climate in Jessup, Georgia for miracle signs and wonders for soul healing. We're praying the Lord will draw people because he says, unless I draw them, they will not come, right? If, if I be lifted up, all, I will draw all men to me. So we're going to continue to worship the Lord, um, praise him, lift him up and ask him to prepare that atmosphere, send the angels over to Jessup, Georgia, command the heavens to be open. Uh, and the spirit of God to come down upon uh, that tent. And I prophesied about a, a tabernacle of witness on the digital gathering with prophet Stephanie Hudson and Isaac, prophet Isaac Hudson. And it's going to be a tabernacle of witness under this tent. And I, I find it interesting. The Old Testament tabernacle witness was a tent. OK, and we're going to do a tent revival. And it was that God was witnessing 24 seven with miracle signs and wonders and divine healing uh, under a tent. And we're going to see that again. And it also talks about Amos 9, 11, and the tabernacle of David will be raised up once again, the ruins in the last days. What was that tabernacle? First Chronicles 16, it was worship and praise 24 seven that God, that they set the singers and the praisers, right? And, and the musicians before the minstrels, um, prophetic minstrels, right? And the psalmist and, and, and the priest to just minister to the Lord because it was a condensed presence of God before the Ark of the Covenant 24 seven. And the tabernacle of David, and then they would prophesy with their instruments. You'll see that First Chronicles um, uh, chapter 16, First Chronicles chapter 25. So we want to see that Second Chronicles chapter 5 says that as they were doing this, right, they were praising and they were worshiping 24-7 before that Ark of the Covenant. It said that the that the glory of the Lord came down, watch this, and the priest could not even stand, watch this, to minister because of the power of God, because of the glory of God that hit that place, right? And so when we start, prophets get 
together like this, especially companies of profits and people and begin to pray, the power of God starts to hit. And I prophesied about that the other night. But I want to say there's two more things. I'm going to pray a little bit. I'm going to start releasing the micro microphone to other people. OK, um, I want you to look at this, Lord. I'm going to read this and then we'll get right into praying. Um, First Thessalonians chapter five. First Thessalonians. If there's, I can't see the Facebook, but if there is a Facebook stream, what I'm, which I'm trying to do is stream it to Facebook, um, you guys can put it up in the chat room. I can't see it because I'm looking at my Zoom. Um, anyway, so let's look at this. Let's read the scripture. It says, but of the times, watch this, and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write unto you. It says, for you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace, watch this, and safety, then shall be sudden destruction. What is happening with all these shootings and all this, right? Um, mm -hmm. It says that shall come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Who are they talking about? Who's he talking about? The heathen, the wicked. That's why we need to do this 10 revival and get people saved, y'all. We, we, this is all about souls right now because of what's going on, right? People are dying through sh mass shootings. You don't even know if you can go into the grocery store and get shot right now, right? You don't know. Okay, so if you don't know the day, you don't know what time it is, we need to get the souls saved, right? And so verse three, 1 Thessalonians 5, 3, for, or 5, 4, but ye brethren, watch this, this is talking to us that are saved, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Verse five, you are all the children of the light, and children of the day, it says, um, and we are not of the night nor the darkness. Therefore, let us sleep. Listen, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. So it's a time that we're not only watchmen and watchmen, prophets on here that are watchmen. You're up at uh, up three in the morning, the third, the fourth watch, and um, um, you know, all the day watches. Um, we have to watch, not only pray, but watch, okay, and be sober because soberness, not just talking about without alcohol or drugs and all that. It just means sober minded. Um, and it says this in Romans 8 verse 2. I mean, Romans 8 verse 6. It says to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So that word is pneumaticos. It means that we have the, the spirit, the pneuma, right? The pneuma, because we are a spirit. And God is a spirit, and we must worship the Lord in spirit and truth. Um, so verse 7, 1 Thessalonians 5, 7, 4, they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken, be drunken in the night. Now watch this verse 8. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God, watch this, has not appointed us, meaning we that are saved, unto wrath, but to attain salvation. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. By our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or asleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, it says, comfort yourselves together, right? That's what we're doing. We're, we're And edify one another, even as you also do. That's why it's important to get into, a, 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 you know, assembly like this, even if it's online, right? And it says, and we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you. And who are over you in the Lord uh, and admonish you, right? And to esteem them barely, very highly for love, for their work's sake, um, and be at peace among yourselves. Verse 14 Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble minded, support the weak, be patient towards all men, see that none render evil for evil unto any man. But ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. See, see, we, it's not just about us being good to ourselves. It's about us being good to other, other people that aren't saved, right? Jesus would eat with sinners. Now, he wouldn't live with them and all that, but he would, uh, you know, he would eat with them and, and preach the gospel and heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead. And, and you know, he, he wasn't like, you know, oh, I don't want to be around sinners. You know what I mean? We need to we need to be around sinners. We're marketplace. We need to get sinners saved right now, y'all. They're scared. They don't know what's going on. And I prophesied the other night when you start seeing, when the heathens start to see and the Buddhists and the Muslims start to see the miracle signs, the notable miracles, that's the dinner and barrel to the gospel. They're going to, they're coming. 
they're they're all the way in, and they'll probably be all the way more in than some of us. Okay, so we got to we got to see the signs and wonders, which is the evidence of the gospel. Okay, so we're gonna Paul said, "I not come to you in the wisdom of man's word, but in the demonstration of spirit and power, that your faith might not only stand in the wisdom of men, but in the supernatural demonstrated power of God." So let's read three more scriptures, and I'm gonna get to praying. It says. Verse 16, rejoice evermore. This is what we're going to do. Write, write these scriptures down from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 down to 28. Um, it says, we are to, in this hour, rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing, right? In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying my god because it's an hour god's gonna have prophets prophesying like no other okay um and it says this prove all things and hold fast to that which is good abstain from all appearance of evil and the very god write this down uh sanctify you holy verse 23 i pray god watch this your whole spirit soul and body be preserved blameless until the coming of the lord jesus christ Faithful is he that calleth you. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with a holy kiss. I charge you. Watch this, what I saw the day with the Holy Spirit. He said, I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. For the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Now look at verse 23. He said, the very God of peace. What happens when we fast and pray? And I thank you, Holy Ghost, for this. It cleanses out our body, our mind, our soul, and our spirit. Because to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Notice that God wants to sanctify. Watch this, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 23. And the very God of peace sanctify. What's that mean? Separate. What happens when we're fasting and praying? We get cleansed with the refiner's fire, the full So we're cleansed from all the residue that we've been holding on to. So God said, I want you separated unto me because you are now the temple of the Holy Ghost. You are the new tabernacle witness and I need some sanctified holy vessels. I need some um, pure vessels, says the Lord. I need clean hands and a pure heart, says God in this hour. And, and it says the very God of peace will sanctify you holy. Notice that word holy. I pray God, your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless until the coming of Jesus Christ. So notice we're a triune being. We've heard this before, but I'm going to show you a secret right here. The warfare that we are going through in the body of Christ, watch this. We think it's all coming from the outside. Most of the warfare you deal with comes from the inside. Watch this. You, you, have a, you, you, you are a spirit, and notice God is a spirit. So who you are is a spirit, mm -hmm. okay? You're not your soul. Your soul is your three things, your mind, your will, and your emotions, okay? And those fight constantly against the spirit, okay? So, so your mind, will, and emotions um, are continually have to be renewed by the renewing of your mind. It talks about in Galatians 5 that the flesh warth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these two are contrary to one another that you cannot do what, what you would. So where, and now we got the body is the third thing. Of course, we know this flesh. Nothing good lies in the flesh, right? Paul said. So this flesh needs to die. Okay. It needs to die. And that's what fasting and prayer does, especially fasting. It kills the flesh, right? And it divides. Watch this. And I told you, I saw Hebrews 4, I mean, I saw 4.12. God speaks to me in prophetic numbers, which is Hebrews 4, 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful, right? And sharper than any two-edged sword. Now listen, piercing to the dividing or asunder of what? Soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. The, the word of God will cut between the soul and the spirit, right? And it will tell you or tell whoever discerning of spirits has like a prophet what's going on and even in the intentions of your heart. The thoughts. Now, notice I said some of the warfare or most of the warfare is coming from the inside. It's coming from demons, devils, putting thoughts, right? So notice what the word, the only prescription is the word of God. 
to cut between the mind, will, and emotions, which is your soul, and your body, which is your flesh, trying to always seek its own pleasure, right? What, what's the only thing that can cut through it is the word of God. So the more you have the word of God, watch this, the more it cuts away the flesh and it cuts away the sucrose or the mind, will, and emotion that are trying to do your own thing. Now, we need the, the soul because that's who we are individually, right? We need our mind, will, and emotion. But watch this. How do we bypass this? You guys know this, but, 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 but in context for a prayer line, right? How do we bypass praying in the Holy Ghost? That's the, that's the secret to bypassing the soul and getting into the spirit. Now, watch this. This is important. Watch this. When you're fasting and praying, watch this. And you spend about, I, I mean, I go about three, four hours, just pray, praying in the Holy Ghost, like three or four hours. I guarantee you, you will, the word, the word that the, because we're not just saying the logos, meaning the written, but the grama of God coming through the revelation of the Holy Ghost. The spirit of wisdom and revelation will cut between the dividing of soul and spirit and joints of marrow to discern the thoughts and the intents of your heart, and it will uproot anything that's in there. And watch this. It will take you away from the flesh and put you in the spirit because everything from the inside that is turmoil in you is from the soul. Meaning that's the same word we get for psyche, su suko. Right. So the thing that is turmoil in you is the mind, will and emotions. I want to do this. I want to eat this. I want to go here. Uh, that's your mind, will and emotion. You have to renew your mind. That's the only way you can. Tra you can only be transformed by the renewing of the mind. Man. You can prove the good, acceptable, perfect will of God. What you have to do, you have to present what your body, Romans 12, 1, 2, 3, as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. Uh, which is our reasonable service. Be not conformed to this world, but be a transformed by the renewing of our mind. Um, so when we pray in the Holy Ghost, watch this, we bypass the suko, suke, the, the, the soul, and get into the spirit. Now watch this, because we have one thing that is fighting us from the inside, which is the soul. And then there are all the things that come through the body from the outside. You see what I'm saying? Like the feelings that you have, people talking to you, people trying to call you on the phone, you know, Facebook, and, and then you got you know, all these messages coming through your phone, all these things you got. So that comes through your flesh. Now, when you crucify the flesh, right, and a lust in the affections thereof by fasting and praying, then you get broken off from that kind of need to have this soul satisfaction or this fleshly satisfaction. And so, as we pray in the Holy Ghost tonight, I'm going to go ahead and start praying. We're praying for the tent revival and Jessup for everybody that came on. God bless you, everybody on Facebook. I can't really see the stream because I'm on um, I'm on Zoom, but we wanted to stream it live to Facebook just so you guys can pray with us. Please pray with us because I had to give that short teaching about praying in the Holy Ghost and how powerful it is to bypass and using the word of God, which is sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing the dividing soul of spirit and joints and marrows and discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart for people to go back. So, Father, I thank you for everyone here. We're going to pray for soul salvation in, in, under the tent in Jessup, Georgia, where we're going to pray to prepare the atmosphere there uh, and the climate for miracles, meaning we need an atmosphere of faith. Come on, it said Jesus went into his own hometown. He could not do many right works because of their unbelief. So we got to bind the fear, the doubt, the unbelief that this is going to be the one of the greatest moves starting in, in the earth here in the united states now do we need a, a move of the spirit in the united states come on how many do you know that there was 20 mass shootings what, look at this people don't even know what the statistics are there were 20 mass shootings since texas and that was what a couple weeks ago there has been 20 of them y'all we gotta pray and, 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 and we got to pray. We got to we, we, we got to get people. We got to go come out of the cave prophets and get out there. So, Father, I'm going to start praying. I'm going to just going to I'm going to pass it um, to Marquise. If you're ready, man of God, after me. And then we'll just kind of um, um, go down the line, maybe Shazia and then um, Elisa and then Samantha. But I'll just kind of I'll kind of when each person stops, just pray by what the spirit tells you. Prophesy if you need to, whatever. Um, and then I'll just kind of take a pause in between and just p pass the mic to the next person. OK, and I want to see if I can see everybody here. I'm on um, gallery view. I hope it's coming on gallery view over on Facebook. What we're hoping. And so 
which is means it's not just on the speaker but i don't know if i got that setting right so we're just praying but either way when i'm praying it'll be on me and, and it'll, if somebody else is praying it's on them okay here we go Father, we just thank you right now. God, we thank you right now. We thank you right now. God, we thank you right now. God, we thank you right now. God, we thank you Father, for this meeting tonight. We thank you for your available vessels, God. We thank you for those that would take their time out to come in to pray with us tonight. God, bless them specially. But I right now, God, I put myself behind the cross. We put ourselves behind the cross. And Holy Ghost, we ask for you to demonstrate your power, for you to speak tonight, God. But we just pray mostly that we're going to bless you right now, God. We thank you right now in Jesus' name. We praise and extol you because you are good and your mercy endures forever. Father, we thank you that this is the beginning Beginning, Father, where we're going to begin to start to just go back into the old church, to the book of Acts, Father. We thank you that we're going back to that time when the power of God was completely displayed 24-7 all the time. And we thank you, God, that there are available vessels right now. I thank you, Father, right now. As we move in and go into Georgia, God, I pray you'll begin to prepare the atmosphere right there and the climate, God. I pray, Ephatha, open those heavens above and let the angels of the Lord begin to ascend and descend. We command the glory of the Lord to fill that tent, to fill not only the tent, but the whole um, community, that whole state of Georgia. God, we're praying for soul salvation. Even what's going on with the gun um, situation and the shootings, God, we plead the blood of Jesus right now of Nazareth over just of Georgia. We plead the blood of Jesus over Georgia right now. We plead the blood of Jesus over every vessel that will, is a part of this revival. We plead the blood of uh, Jesus over the minstrels and musicians, Dewan Carter, um, Prophetess Dorsey Cobb, uh, Prophetess Tanisha Carter, uh, Margot Worthington, and, and, and Kiki Carter. God, we pray that you will cover them right now in your feathers. Under your wings shall we trust. God, I pray right now that everyone that is coming, that, that they will not be hindered by hindering spirits. We bind all hindrances right now. We bind all um, spirits that would come and try to um, uh, discourage people from going, saying, well, why did you don't have enough faith? God, we bind all fear. All doubt and unbelief, and we bind it and cast it out in Jesus' name. And we command the spirit of faith. Hallelujah. We command faith to come into that region, God. Not only just under that tent, but all over. God, I pray right now that the sound, the sound of a Russian mighty wind come because it is June 5th. It's the day of Pentecost, which is coming. So we pray that that Pentecost is going to be another great outpouring of the spirit, another great awakening, God. We pray that this prophetic sound of, will go out across the nation, God. We'll begin to do um, go in Georgia, and God will begin to draw people, God, that they will hear the sound all the way, not just in Georgia, but Florida. And, and South Carolina and North Carolina and Mississippi, God, just going to begin to go out. Oh, God, we thank you that others are going to begin because they already have their own moves going on. But we pray that the people that are called to this specific move, God, um, that you will anoint them afresh with fresh oil. You will anoint them with the oil of gladness above their uh, fellows, God. It says in um, Hebrews 1, 9, that he anointed us with the oil of gladness above our fellows. So there are certain um, remnants that has chosen um, for this next move of the Spirit. And everyone that is on this prayer line, and I believe even those on Facebook live that are joining us, um, are a part of this next move of the Holy Ghost. So, Father, I thank you right now, and I bless your name. We praise you. We thank you that the faith in that atmosphere of Georgia under that tent will be mighty, a mighty witness of your signs, wonders, notable miracles healing god let the dead be raised let the um, cancer be cast out um let the lame be healed as said jesus um and matthew 24 that when evening had come and we notice that we do these prayer meetings at an evening for a reason at six o'clock p.m there's a switching of, of of the uh you know the, the hours right and so it's a switching of the hour and so when evening had come they brought all that were maimed and lamed and sick right, that were lunatic and had devils, right, and it said Jesus cast out the devils or the spirits with his word, and he healed all who were sick with the devil, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, that said he himself took our infirmities, and he bore our sickness, and so Jesus himself took our infirmities, he bore our sickness on the cross of Calvary, let's bring back the cross of Calvary, hallelujah, 
Sakata Kalaba Shakoto Kolobo Shakata, Lakata Kalabo Shakata Kalabo Shaka, Yakata Kalaba Shokolobo Shakata Kata Kalaba Shaka, Rosa Kata 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 Kata, Rosa Kata 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 Kata. We break every um, demonic resistance against this move of the Spirit of God. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we plead the blood of Jesus over this um, move of the Spirit, over this tent, over Jesse, Georgia. God, right now, in the name of Yeshua. I cut every demon. I cut with the word of God in between every... Um, resistance in the spirit right now between even people's mind and their will and emotion we bind the carnal mind which is enmity against god the carnal mind which is death and we release the new of god the spiritual mind which is life and peace god i cut between the dividing of soul and spirits and joints and marrow today and the thoughts and the intent of the heart god creating us the clean heart god and renew a right and a steadfast spirit in your people god we need a steadfast spirit in these last days oh god Hallelujah. Give us the spirit of Daniel. Give us the spirit of excellence, God. We need a spirit of excellence among the leadership of the fivefold ministry, Emma, so that we can lead your sheep out. Because it says that there are shepherds that have set as watchmen and portals, according to John 10, 3, that are set in the right in the different regions, gatekeepers, watchmen to watch, watch this to lead the sheep out. Now it says this to open the door. The porter, which is, could be a pastor, or a leader, right, or a shepherd, opens the door so that the sheep can hear the voice of the good shepherd, which is Jesus. And the shepherd, watch this, leads them out. Where? Out of, uh, out of captivity. And so, Father, I thank you right now. I see my brother, Apostle Douglas Blair on. Great to see him tonight. I'm going to go ahead and release the mic um, to uh, evangelist, powerful man of God, Marquise. If you want to go ahead and pray, man of God, I release the mic to you, and we'll just kind of go down the line. Um, and I believe I'll go to Shazia next, and then we'll just go from there. Father God, we come to you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your glory. Father, we come repenting of all of our sins, everything that we did wrong, everything we said wrong, all the ways that we acted wrong. Father God, we come asking for you to wash us in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we lead, we give you free access to free reign to expose any hidden sin, any any um any sin that we have tried to cover up, anything that's not like you, oh God. Holy Spirit, have your way with us. Holy Spirit, we give you free reign and access to our family. We thank you, Lord, for all that you're going to do. Holy Spirit, we just trust and believe in you for what you're going to do. Lord, we just thank you, oh God. Father God, we come speaking against everything, every witchcraft, all manners of witch, all manners of warlocks, everything that is not like you, oh God. Lord God, we just trust and believe in you, Father God. We speak against every monitoring spirit, every lust spirit, every hindering spirit, anything that's not like you, oh God. Lord, we just need you to intervene. We need you to manifest your glory. We need your glory. Father God, we trust and believe in you, just as you did, as, as, as Moses asked you, for, for you to show us your glory, show us your glory. And Lord, we just need you now, Lord. We need a revival. We need your spirit to dwell with, among us. And Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for the man of God. We thank you, oh God, for the women of God that's going to show up. Draw them from the north, the south, the east, and the west, Lord. Draw them to your place, to your to your tabernacle. As the tabernacles was in the middle, Lord, we just we just set up just some Georgia, Georgia right there in the middle. Let them be drawn from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, we bind all manners of wickedness. We bind anything that may not that may that may hinder us. We, Father God, we speak against all manners of fear. We speak against everything that is not like you, Lord. And Lord, we just thank you, O God, for the anointing that destroys your. We thank you, O God, for the anointing that breaks burdens, that lifts burdens. Oh God, we thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do. Oh God, Father God, we trust and believe in you, Father God, for the salvation of our loved ones. We thank you, O God, for Father God all manners of wicked spirits that be broken, that be cursed out, the generational curses will be broken. And Father, we trust in you, Lord. Lord, we just thank you, oh God. Send a revival now, Lord. We need you now. Holy Spirit, empower us. Holy Spirit, we need you like never before. We come repenting, Father God, for anything that's, that's not like you, oh God. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for what you're going to 
to do. Thank you, O oh God, for opening doors, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do, Father. We trust in you, Lord. Father God, we hold on to your hands, O oh God. We reach into your heels. We look into the hills for which comes by help. All of our help comes from you. And Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for the spirit of the living God that, that will guide us into all truth. According to John 16 and 13, for you will guide us into all truth. And Lord, we just thank you, oh God, for what you're going to do. We thank you, Lord, for every family. We thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do in their lives. Thank you, oh God, for the for, the, for the ready to cast them down, ready to give them over to you, Lord. Let them to lay it down. Thank you, oh God, for your deliverance. Thank you. Miracles, signs, and wonders. In Jesus' precious name, amen. amen. Thank you. Thank you, man of God. Hallelujah. Um, thank you. We're just going to keep yielding the mic. Um, Shazia, go ahead. Bless you, one of God. Prophet Shazia from Pakistan. We have a, a worldwide um, prayer warrior movement right here. We've got people from different nations even here. So go ahead, woman. Amen. Blessings to you, Pastor, and everyone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We are so robo shendara raba kasan kori ala rara raba iza karara raman doro robo iga la 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 rakan kori ala rara makase yanta la raba sharaba. Heavenly Father, we thank you as we come together. Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the precious blood of Jesus. We welcome your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for these powerful prayers and fasting for operating, Father God. I thank you for the mighty move of Holy Ghost, hallelujah, the dunamis power of Holy Ghost is going to move, hallelujah, in the sense revival, Father God. I thank you, Father God, even right now, I cover and I plead the blood of Jesus over Apostle James and Father God and all the ministers and the worship and all the arrangements, Father God, over that place, Father God. We thank you for your angels that have been already been dispatched and that area, the souls have been one for your kingdom and glory. Father God, we decree and declare soul salvation and the expansion of kingdom, and we even decree and declare your peace over that place, Father God, divine order over that arrangement, divine order over that atmosphere in the name of Jesus. We bind every spirit of resistance, we bind every spirit of limitation and confusion right now in the name of Jesus. We take authority and claim that hallelujah, that many souls, hallelujah, unlimited souls are going to be saved, delivered, and set free in the name of Jesus. And let your people receive supernatural encounters, fresh fire, and be saturated, hallelujah, and fresh oil. Come upon the lives in the name of Jesus. Let there be healing manifestation. We send the power of the word over to, to, to that place. Even right now, we thank you for your angels that are working, that are ascending and descending, and that are helping and assisting, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for the mighty move that we are going to about to manifest, Father God, that your children are covered under the precious blood of Jesus, that area, that hallelujah, that path is, belongs to you, Father God. We thank you, hallelujah, for the precious blood of Jesus, which is already covering the sacred revival. We thank you for this corporate prayer and fast, hallelujah, for the manifestation of your greater glory of the God that is going to cover your people, for your fresh fire that is come upon your people, for the breaker anointing that is going to destroy the yokes of the life, that is going to heal, that is going to deliver and set your people free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you in advance that you have already done it. You have answered our prayers and these fast, Father God. We thank you and Lord, you take our glory. You are Lord over the century Bible. You are Lord over each and every minister. Holy Spirit, move in a way like never before. And let your people, hallelujah, let your hallelujah see your glory. See your hallelujah, mighty works and manifestations, which they have never experienced before, beyond their expectations. I decree and declare over provisions and abandoned from the north, south, east, and west in the name of Jesus, that every need be met 
exceedingly and abundantly beyond expectations in the name of Jesus. I call forth those, hallelujah, those destiny helpers, those kingdom influencers, Father God, those, Father God, investors who are going to sow into this ministry, who are going to sow into this central revival for the salvation of souls. We thank you for the mega move of Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, that each one that is, hallelujah, that is Father God going to minister, preach, the worship, the arrangement, the sound system, the atmosphere is being charged even right now, Father God. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, for the gifts of Holy Spirit, for the operation of Holy Spirit gifts, hallelujah, over the lives of your people. And I Thank you, Father God, who has come here who are politely and who has stayed in prayer and fast, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for the breakthrough anointing. We thank you, Father God, for the divine order and the divine alignment. We cover the time. We cover, hallelujah, of the whole atmosphere, even right now under the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that greater one, that greater one is moving over there even right now. Holy Spirit, has your way. And Lord, you take all glory. You take our glory to this ancient Bible. Let the state of Georgia and let the surrounding be covered by your glory, by the fire, by the fresh fire, by the fresh fire of Holy Ghost. And let everything that is not from you be consumed by the fire of Holy Ghost. Father God, as we surrender and we submit humbly unto you, yield unto you, hallelujah, Lord, have your way in each one's a life over here, even right now, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for answering all prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Got your mute. You got your. You got your mute him. Uh, uh, man, I got. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, Apostle Douglas Blair. God bless you, man of God. Can you pray for us, please? Good to have you on tonight. We honor the Apostle tonight. Thank you for coming on. Amen. Man. God bless you. God bless you, man of God. Amen. It is truly an honor to be on here. Amen. Father God, I give you glory and honor, Lord God, for how you're moving even now by your spirit, oh, Father God. Father God, I thank you right now for the spirit of unity that is already on here, Lord God. Father God, even as the spirit of unity is on here, Father God, I thank you, Lord God, that I see things moving quickly even now, Lord God. I thank you right now, Father God, for the manifestation and the fulfillment of prayers being being done even now, Lord God. Father God, even as we're moving in the realms of the spirit, Father God, you're shifting cities, you're shifting nations even now, Father God. You're shifting regions and communities even now, Lord God. Even as we've gathered here, Lord God, there's a great release that has taken place. Father God, I thank you right now, Father. Father God, for your place in the hedge of protection, even around about the children, Lord God. Mandaka de Askianda. Even as you're placing a hedge around the children, Lord God, you're stirring up the gifts that are on the inside of them as well, Lord God. For you will use even the children, even at an early age. Kayande Ansa. Even as we're in the end time revival. Shagadabonde. Even as we're in the latter glory movement. Even as we're in the year of unlimited access. Halalabandian. We will not abuse the access, Lord God, that you've given us, Lord God. But, Father God, we will use wisdom, Lord God. I thank you for expansion of the mind, Father, by Anska, to be able to comprehend that what you're doing in this season, Lord God. Even as you're doing in this time, in this dispensation, Lord God. Mantaka de gada askalagadando zegade ando gayanda. I thank you right now, Father God. 
for even a fresh infilling of the Holy Ghost with fire, Lord God. Father God, with fire, Lord God. Even as I'm seeing the people now, Father God, that have the Holy Ghost but no fire. I thank you for the fire being released. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, for you said no good thing will you withhold from them who walk rightly before you, Lord God. And Father God, I decree and declare even now that your people will not walk in lack, Father God, but they will prosper, Lord God, even as a soul prospers, Father God. I thank you right now, Father God, that your people remove with revelation, Lord God. They remove with understanding, Lord God. For they will not be deceived any longer, Lord God. I thank you for divine destiny helpers, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for you said only it takes only one, my God, it takes only one to change your life. And Father God, I call for for the Mundo Shabbat. Father God, for that one that you've ordained, Father God, to change the levels, even the financial status of your people, Lord God. Father God, that will make them millionaires and billionaires overnight. I break all manner of limitation now, Father. I command and everything that is trying to block Father God, the destiny helpers, Lord God. I bind now in the Father God, we enter into the deep. We enter into the deep. We will no longer just get our toe wet back on rebels, but we will step fully in. Into the deep, Rakando, Kadeleme, Kando, Kando, Kaneleme, Go, Kando, Kaneleme, Koyana. But you said when it be help us one to another, Payando, Payando, Kerando, Sarando, Karendo, Va, In Takunini, In Tianto, In Kando, Kandagada, Bandagada, No, Yadabo, Tekaneleme, Kayon, and Father God in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father God, those, Lord God, that are under the wrong condo, Shabbat, that are under the wrong person, Lord God, Father God, give them wisdom, Lord God, on how to detach, Lord God, on how to remove their self, Lord God, without it being some drastic thing to take place. And Father God, yes, God, I hear you, Father. And Lord God, every curse, Lord God, that has been spoken over your people, Lord God, as they have stepped out in obedience, Lord God, Dagadabosha, even as they tried to curse them as they left, Rakande Ansa, I destroy that now in the name of Jesus. I consume it with fire now. Kelebo, Kalebe, Kelebo, Kalebe, in the name of Jesus, for they will prosper, Lord God. Diosa, they will prosper, Lord God. Doganarebe in Diosa, Father God, Adeo Shade, Toho Shakadayosa. Father God, De Ansha, I eat con Rebbe. Even as an apostle, Lord God, I release the finishes anointing, Lord God. Even upon your people, Lord God. Teleosa, Tarendo Valinga, Valengo Dorianta. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Dayosha, and Dagadan, De Eke, Lekoyansa. I thank you for the activation now, Father. The activation. Nakatala Labakataya, Kante, 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 Kanteosa. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I thank you for the Revival, Lord God, that is breaking forth from this. So even as you ordained for the man of God to even call forth for a meeting such as this, I think you Lord God that there is no coincidence. For this has been ordained. This is but ordained. I hear you saying, well, please. I thank you, Lord God, for we will see the results of this gathering, Lord God. We will see the results. I even see the number seven within seven days. Hallelujah. Of this prayer, of this prayer, Kayosa, of this gathering, Hadaganalabo Sakata, Lega, Lega, Tedosa, I thank you, Lord God. 
for even what you're doing in the nation, Lord God. I thank you for the shaking and the stirring that is taking place even now, Father. And Father God, we'll forever give your name all glory and all honor, Father God. In Jesus' name, we glorify you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Yes, Yes, A new sound, a new sound shall spring forth. Rakote answer. A new sound, a new song will spring forth. Rokabari answer. Even from the wells of your belly, even from the depths of your bellies. You will begin to sing a new song. Even a new look, a new look, a new hearing. You will not move according to the old man, but you will move according to the new man. All that are hearing my voice, even now, you will move accordingly. You will not be moved by even the small petty things. And even that which has been frustrated and will frustrate you no longer. Yes, God, even healing, even healing, Father God, heal the minds of your people, Father. Heal the minds of your people, Father. Heal the minds of your people, Father. I bind oppression. I bind depression. I got no. I bind the spirit of Vago di Askianda. Every schizophrenic spirit, I bind it now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I bind familiar spirits, Lord God. I bind the spirit of divination, Lord God. I bind rebellion, Lord God. And Father God, I loose love, Lord God. I loose the purity of your spirit, Father God. I loose the spirit of truth, Lord God. I loose the all of joy and the all of gladness, Lord God. I loose the purity of the anchato, of the anointing, Lord God. I loose purity even now, Lord God. No hidden motives, Lord God. No hidden agendas, Lord God. But we are moving in unity, Lord God. Let the oil flow, Lord. Let the oil flow, Father. I give you glory now, Father God. Continue to have your way, Lord God. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. Hallelujah, man of God. Wow. That, that, oh my God. Thank you, Jesus, for the power. If you guys can feel the sweet anointing on here, it's so sweet. God, we just honor your presence, Holy Spirit. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for the prophetic release from the apostle of Jesus Christ. We thank you, man of God. We appreciate you on and everyone on tonight. Uh, everyone has prayed so far. I'm going to go ahead and pass the mic. Um, I'm going to go, Samantha, are you available to pray or, or um, are you busy? No, I'm available to pray until the kids get loud. I'll just cut my mic. <laughs> okay, amen. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> right now, we thank you, Father. You. <laughs> we thank you, Father. We thank you for this gathering of unity, my God, that is, gathered, that is getting us re ready for the fire that's going to send forth trailblazers of fire, my God. We thank you for your holy anointing, my God. We thank you for your divine wisdom, my God. We thank you for the same, your son that has broken every yoke. May you send the power, my God. May you open up the gates, my God. May you start opening up the heavenly gates, my God. May there be downloads of wisdom, my God. We send confusion and the encampment of our enemies, my God. Any power assigned to scatter our efforts, my God be disgraced in the name of Jesus, my God. We receive uncommon anointing and discernment to move us forward in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost and fire, bulldoze every plot and ploy of the enemy, my God. Give us wisdom to stay on the right path always, God. We bind up his hindrances and roadblocks, my God, tricks and entrapments. We bind and we desolate it, my God. Send forth the fire, my God. Leave our enemies in ashes, my God. We come, my God, together to go ahead and save your children's soul. So may you start to illuminate our minds, my God. May you start prepping, prepping the minds of your children, opening up their hearts, my God. Opening up their minds so they can receive your healing, my God. We break and we, we destroy every yoke and bondage, my God. 
May you send forth your angels, my God, to camp around us for guidance and protection. Let the evil pressure behind our problems disappear now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, fill our cups, my God, with an overflow of wine, my God. May there be a newness, my God, in the world, my God. We send forth your angels, my God, over our children, over your children, my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. There will be there will be deliverance, my God. The people who are going to go ahead and go and speak in the revival camp, my God, may you anoint him. We destroy any roadblocks that are going to try to come against him, my God. May there be an overflow in their finances, my God. An overflow of your anointing, my God. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. We give you the glory and the praise and all the honor, my God. Hallelujah. My goodness, Samantha on fire. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for these anointed vessels. I thank you for even my sons and daughters because they are growing so much. I haven't heard her pray for a while. She is on fire. I will hope you're going to be there, woman of God. We'll talk. We'll talk, okay? Um, I'm going to keep moving down the line. Um, Elisa, you want to pray? I, I need your mic, woman of God. We need your mic un unmuted. Somebody muted me, like, okay. <laughs> okay, there you go, woman of God. Yeah, thank you. We honor the King tonight, our Abba Father Yahweh, and we honor the Holy Spirit of God. You alone deserve the glory, Father. We worship you. Father God, it is an honor and privilege to work for you. And these are turbulent times, but also exciting times, and um, that we can do uh, something for the furtherance of your kingdom. I thank you, Lord, for all, all of my brothers and sisters in Christ and that we can work as a team. Thank you for the technology that enables us to uh, connect together from other parts of the world and let uh, the right heart posture be in each and every one of us uh, that, uh, that, that uh, are involved in this, um, yeah, this great revival, this wonderful move of God. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I, I'm glad to be a part of it and um, Apostle Milne, I have some, I, I read something and I thought, well, it's, uh, it, 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 it spoke to me and I hope it uh, speaks to you as well and the other prophets as well here. And um, it's about the eagle. And as we know, the eagle stands for uh, prophets and a prophetic anointing. And um, yeah, you can take it uh, yeah, for yourselves. Um, firstly, I uh, wanted to um, uh, say that eagles have an accurate vision and they have the ability to focus on something as far as five uh, kilometers away. Uh, but no matter, matter the obstacles, the eagle will not move. He, he will not move his focus uh, from the prey until he grabs it. And the meaning is that you, yeah, you have a vision and you remain focused no matter what the obstacles are. And then in that way, you will succeed. Um, I see that you're very dedicated and focused and no doubt in my mind that you are going to succeed in all of your endeavors. And a second point I'd like to make is that eagles do not, uh, they do not feed or uh, they, they, they don't eat dead things. They feed only on, on fresh prey. Yeah. Um, yeah. Come on now. Yeah. And they do, they do not rely on, on past as, uh, successes. They keep looking for new frontiers and, uh, and they leave. Um, uh, they, yeah. Uh, they conquer the, the new fr uh, frontiers and they are good at leaving their past in the past where it belongs. Uh, so leave your past in the past, eh? <laughs> and thirdly, eagles love the storm. When clouds gather, the eagle gets excited. The eagle uses the storms uh, and the winds to lift itself higher. And once it finds the wind uh, of the storm, the eagle uses it, um, uses the raging storm to lift itself above the clouds. And this gives the eagle an opportunity to glide and rest its wings. In the meantime, all the other birds, they, they, um, yeah, they hide in, um, in branches and, and, and leaves of trees, but not you. <laughs> Meaning uh, this, this prophet, this kind of prophet, he, uh, he faces his challenges head on 
and knowing that this will make him emerge stronger and better than he was before. So, uh, and, and yeah, in general, we can use the storms of life to rise to greater heights. Achievers are not afraid to, to uh, rise to greater heights. Achievers are not afraid of challenges, rather they relish them and uh, use them profitably. So uh, Apostle Milne, I see in you, um, yeah, an achiever, a go-getter, and I hope you agree. <laughs> yes, I'd like to pray for you. Yeah, <laughs> Father God. Uh, Amen, Lord God, I received that word. That was amazing prophetic insight. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. And, you know, I, what I love is all, everybody that's on here follow me, right? And you guys, I, I mean, you guys are soaring in the spirit. You guys, you guys are like, what? All oh, this, this wisdom and revelation coming out of you guys. I'm like, what? You know what I mean? I'm just going to sit back and soak it. You know, I started to pray and I gave that little teaching, which is a good teaching, but the Lord's just saying now, just, just, just sit back and, and let others pray. And that's what we're going to do at this revival. It's not about me. It's not about, it's about the Holy spirit and souls and, and, and getting people healed and set free, but it's also about using, let God use those people that are being raised up that, you know, I didn't, that's why I didn't um, invite any big name prophets or preachers. Cause I want God to use it. You know, Prophet Dorsey, I know she's uh, probably listening. She's working tonight, which is she's one of the hosts. Um, and and Duan Carter, our, our um, um, lead minstrel and them. But they, um, you know, I want God to use them. And so um, go ahead, woman of God, go ahead and pray. And I just want to say I appreciate that prophetic word and I receive it. In you're Jesus on the name. front line. You're in the front line, Apostle. I don't want any backlashes and stuff happening after after mm, the um, the revival. So, um, Father God, I pray that uh, you anoint Apostle Milne with an excellent spirit of wisdom, uh, eagle's eyes, insight. Uh, set your favor heavily upon him, that he may walk in signs, wonders, miracles like never before. And um, that with this anointing, he changes the atmosphere wherever you call him to go to organize tent meetings, uh, meetings in general. Father, thank you for leading and guiding him in, in, in your ways. Lord, encourage him, strengthen him, make him walk upright in boldness for your kingdom's cause. Um, protect him against all wiles of the enemy and let human agents uh, be blocked and arrested by your heavenly hosts fighting for him fighting for his success in you lord that he may accomplish all that you have for him in this season let him play a huge part in bringing in the end time harvest and let all the right people and connections resources be added unto him so that he may accomplish all that you have given him yeah uh, for his mission that he can function properly with the right, reliable people by his side, connected to him. Bless him with supernatural health and wealth, even wealth, yes, and let him enjoy life in you. Let the oil of gladness be poured out all over him. I pray for heavenly joy to be his portion always. Thank you, Father, for choosing him to lead his team to walk in greater anointing um, and to do the mighty works for your kingdom. Thanks to our Father God, Lord Jesus Christ, uh, Holy Spirit, El Elohim, El Shaddai, Adonai. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. My God, I, I receive every bit of every word. God, we thank you for these dedicated prayer warriors. God, I just thank you. I felt that prayer. I felt that prayer. I'm telling you all. I feel it in the realm of the spirit. I feel your guys' prayers. You know, this fast, I... My uh, prophetess Dorsey Cox, one of my spiritual daughters, of course, that is part of uh, hosting. Um, it's going to be actually on her property. But she said, God is doing something else for me in this fast, this particular fast. There's something about it. And man of God, I wish he was still here because I forgot to mention it. But I hopefully he goes back and hears the replay of Apostle Blair. He said something's going to happen in, in about seven days. Well, it's the third. OK, seven days is the tenth. It's the tenth. That's in Jessup, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I he didn't even, I don't think he even knew the date. I don't know. He might have, but I'm just saying God is God is God is doing this. This isn't us, y'all. So we're gonna be a part of this greatest move of the uh, of the spirit that has ever hit planet Earth. Um, and we're just I'm just one vessel. You guys are all, you know, 
have your own movements and some of you are part of this but you're also part of doing what god has called you to do and so let's it says to encourage one another daily and that's what we're also doing here um on this prayer line and father i just thank you for it Yes, God, fill us back up. Those places where we fasted today and the last three days, God, now feel, see, we emptied ourselves up. When you, when you fast, you empty yourself out, right? You clean yourself out. What I was just prophesying in your whole spirit, soul, and body be sanctified, First Thessalonians um, 5.23, so that the Holy Ghost can come in and fill those places, right? Can fill you to overflow because we don't minister out of what we have. We minister out of our overflow. And if we're burnt out, if we're tired, come on, then the devil can get us right but if we have an overflow come on y'all that we can overflow onto others that's that anointing that comes out that destroys the yoke because there's such an overflow and i prophesied about that the other night um, prophet stephanie's digital gathering was that um acts chapter five because that's what he gave us in the first um, prayer meeting what we had together was acts chapter five which is where peter's shadow you know gets so much anointing in you that you can walk down the street and people are getting healed just from the very presence of god coming out of your body right it said luke 6 19 that there was virtue that word is dunamis that went out of christ's body and it healed them all right and so i decree and declare that there's going to be power coming out of your body you're going to you're each one of you guys the lord said we get ready because you will be just going into the grocery store or into walmart or somewhere and people are going to be like Whoa, 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 who's, you know, they're not going to know what hit them. I'm telling you, I'm prophesying this right now that people are going to fall out in the spirit just from you being next to you because the shadow is going to be like the shadow of Peter, which is the word light glory cloud, which means there was a light shadow, not a dark that went over people. And it not only did it heal the sick, but it drove out demons. Y'all there's a healing and deliverance anointing being released tonight, even for the prayer warriors on this call for those people on Facebook, just reach out and receive it in Jesus name hallelujah because this impartation tonight is not only about me it's about you god said i need a vessel i need a witness if you go back to prophet stephanie's digital again i preached about uh, god said he needs a witness can i get a witness right so god said can i get a witness and this is an hour that god's going to display his power but he needs vessels that are available and you all are available because you're here right now hallelujah see so you're proving to god that you're available right there's, you know, some, and, and there's some people may come on, but some people that said they would come on, but it's okay because they're probably on Facebook. I told them to come on Facebook too, because the, the people that are here that are need to be right now. Okay. And so I'm going to keep, um, I'm going to pass the mic a little bit further and, and let somebody else pray real quick. Um, we got uh, Yvonne, are you there, woman of God? And then I see your, is that your daughter, um, uh, Elisa? Yes. Your daughter's here? Did, yeah. And I, I'll have her pray if she would like to, too. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see in a minute. Okay. So, uh, are you are you here? Here she goes. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, Lord God Almighty. We worship you, Lord God. We adore you, Lord God, mighty God. We bow down at your feet, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord God. Take preeminence, Lord God. Mighty God, you said if you be high and lifted up, Lord God, you would draw all men unto you, Lord God. And we hallelujah, Lord God. We lift you up, mighty God. We exalt you, Lord God. You get all the glory, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Oh, Father God, thank you for the burden, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, for the lost souls, Lord God, the wounded, Lord God, the broken, Lord God, all the afflicted, Lord God, the sick, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh, Father God, the grounds, Lord God, in just up Georgia, Lord God, the land father god oh father god we dedicate it unto you lord god oh father god wash it with your blood in the name of jesus lord god we purify it lord god with the 
fire, the consuming fire, Lord God. We destroy every curse, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, mighty God, we saturate the home, Lord God, of the host in the name of Jesus and her family, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, mighty God, oh, Father God, favor her, Lord God, for yielding herself, Lord God, as a yielded vessel, Lord God. Protect them, Lord God. Protect them, Father God, from the fiery darts of the wicked, Lord God, from the attacks, Lord God, of the kingdom of darkness, Lord God. Shield them with your fire, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Be a consuming fire, Lord God, in every area of their life, Lord God. Oh, we send forth, Lord God, your angels in the name of Jesus, mighty God, with your flame, hallelujah, Lord God, with your sword, Lord God. Oh, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, destroy, destroy, Lord God. We send a host of angels to destroy the works of the kingdom of darkness, dear Lord God. Oh, Father God, be a shield of fire around, Lord God, the tent, Lord God. Send your angels, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, to bind up every trap, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, every witch, Lord God, every warlock, in the name of Jesus, every fiery dart of the enemy, in the name of Jesus, mighty God. Oh, Father God, we anoint every chair, Lord God. We saturate the atmosphere with, with faith, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Now, as they enter the atmosphere, Lord God, oh, Father God, faith, Lord God, and no doubt, Lord God, almighty God, search out the lost from the east, west, north, and south, Lord God. Bring them, Lord God, out of, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, out of the bar rooms, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, you know, Lord God, stir up their heart, Lord God. You know the hearts, Lord God. Father God, for you know, you have chosen us, Lord God. We did not choose, Lord God, you, but you have chosen us, mighty God. In the name of Jesus, you said in your word that the harvest, Lord God, is plenteous, but the labor is a few, mighty God. In the name of Jesus, mighty God, all the harvest is ripe, Father God, for the picking, Lord God. And so as we yield ourselves, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, to decree, Lord God, that the lost souls would come unto salvation, that would come unto your love, that would come into your fellowship, Lord God. We, they, oh, Father, unction them and order their footsteps, dear Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, into your kingdom, Lord God, mighty God, mighty God. Touch your man serving, Lord God. Touch your man serving, Lord God. Apostle James Milne, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Give him grace greater wisdom, Lord God, greater anointing, Lord God, greater power, Lord God. Oh, Father, touch, Lord God, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, your vessels that you would use, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, in this tent revival. Protect them, Lord God, under the shadow of your wings. Protect the whole revival, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, from any attack, from any backlash, dear Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, put your angels on guard in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh, Father, bring millionaires, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, because their money can't save them. Their money can't heal them. In the name of Jesus, and their money can't bring them true joy in the name of Jesus, like only you can do, mighty God. Oh, Father God, as they are delivered, set free, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that they will be kingdom financiers. Oh, God, that your revival would spread out, Lord God, to the 50 states of America, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pour out your love, mighty God. Pour out your love, Lord God. Pour out your love, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Before as we fish for the men, for your, as we are fishers of men in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh, mighty God, let us nurture them, Lord God. Let us love them, Lord God. Let your love abound, Lord God. Pour out your love in us, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. That when they see us, Lord God, they will see Christ, Lord God. They will not see wickedness, Lord God. They will not see anything contrary, Lord God. They will see the fruits of the Spirit. They will see meekness, compassion. Mighty God, you said, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, you was moved with compassion, mighty God. You was moved with compassion, mighty God. You was moved with compassion, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. When you saw, Lord God, the most true, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that sheep without a shepherd, mighty God. Oh, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh, mighty God, let your revival, Lord God, 
fall afresh in us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, and touch, Lord God, touch, Lord God, touch, touch, touch the people, Lord God, that as in the name of Jesus, Lord God, the leaders would be like magnets, the anointing, Lord God, would draw men, Lord God, oh, Father, people that are at their, their breaking point in the name of Jesus, Lord God, oh, Father God, that they would meet up with one of the leaders in the revival, Lord God, just at the brink of time when they're about to give up, when they're about to lose it, in the name of Jesus, that you would extend your hope, you would extend your love oh father god in the name of jesus lord god draw 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 all men unto you father god for we give you all the glory we give you all the praise we give you all the honor lord god have your way now have your way father god have your way in these last days lord god and then end times mighty god draw father god let them know that lord god you are safety you are refuge lord God, in the time of trouble, these are troublous perils, perils sometimes, mighty God, and this is the time, Lord God, for the outpouring, Lord God, let your spirit, Lord God, oh, Father, hover over Georgia, Lord God, let your spirit, Lord God, your Shekinah glory, mighty God, your manifested glory and power, Lord God, permeate the atmosphere and have your way for miracle signs and wonders father god for you said it shall follow us to them that believe and we believe lord god oh father god in the name of jesus lord god that healing would take place people would be healed of cancer in the name of jesus instant mir miracles notable miracles the lame would walk hallelujah the dumb would talk in the name of jesus the deaf would hear mighty god in the name of jesus the blind would see mighty god in the name of jesus oh father god those that are not in their right mind their mind would be regulated lord god in the name of jesus we thank you for this move lord god we thank you for the outpouring we, we are yielded vessels we cannot do anything of ourselves oh Oh, glory to God. We cannot do nothing of ourselves, mighty God. We are vessels forever for your honor and for your glory. Have your way. Have your way. Have your sweet way, precious Lord. Have your way. 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 Protect us from every backlash of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Shield us, dear Lord God. And we thank you and honor and we praise you in Jesus' almighty name. We give you glory and honor we give you glory and honor we give you glory and honor hallelujah glory precious lord glory for the mighty move hallelujah jesus hallelujah everybody unmute your mics let's just give us some praise right now hallelujah god we thank you right now we hallelujah you, god. hallelujah hallelujah everybody Hallelujah, 
We cover right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, those that are in their time, those that are, that are in the praise team, I cover them in the blood of Jesus. I cover their families. I cover my family. The devil tried to attack my sister. My, my sister got some sickness in her mouth. And I, I'm another one of my... Um, Jesus got sick, but I bind the devil of sickness and deformity right now. I bind the backlash of the enemy against this right now. In Jesus' name, the sickness that the enemy is trying to put on families right now, I bind and I cast you out, Satan. The Lord Jesus rebuke you. Loose them now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to be, to be loosed in Jesus' name. And right now, I release apostolic and prophetic angels, angels of virtues and dominions and thrones to be sent to their house. Send ministering spirits, oh God. Send ministering spirits to camp around about them because they fear you, God, to rescue and deliver them. Oh, God, send your angels right now to Jessup, Georgia. God, uh, and draw the people right now. God, we need ministering spirits. We need angels of virtues. Watch this. Angels of virtues that Raphael, the healing angels. Watch this. And there are angels that perform miracles. We release the angels of performing miracles to be under that tent. Oh, God, we pray the angels will already be set there before we get there. Oh, God, and not just the heavenly host of angels, but those angels or messengers or prophets that are supposed to be sent, oh God, to be a part of this revival. We call them for the north, south, east, and west, God. We call them right now. <laughs> and we're going up and it says the holy ghost makes intercession for us according to the will of god you got to pray until the holy ghost begins to take over y'all you got to start to bypass that soul and that mind that carnal mind which is enmity against god for the carnal mind is death, but the spiritual mind is life and peace. So, God, we pray for the spirit mind right now. God, because the Holy Ghost goes in and searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. God, I think the Holy Ghost is going in to search the mind of Christ right now, the mind of God. I pray everyone will have the mind of Christ right here to begin to um, 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 hear what the Holy Ghost is saying to the spirit of wisdom and revelation. We pray. That we might be in light, that we might know what is the hope of his calling, what is the riches of glory and his inheritance in the saints, and what is that exceeding greatness of that power, God, that power that's going to you're going to put on display, because you've already promised that you're going to move in power and signs, wonders, healing, and notable miracles. Hallelujah. We think it. That raised Jesus from the dead. We think of Kalabo Shata. We call up all Sunday. We think of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the name Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. It's not about us. It's about you. It's about bringing your name back in the earth. Because the name of Jesus is the name of every name. That at that name of Jesus, every knee has to bow. Every tongue will confess that he is Lord once again. The Lord of God, the Father in the heavens, the earth, and under the earth. Oh God, we thank you, Jesus. 
We thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. I'm going to give you a prescription. Yes, yes. I'm going to go to a doctor to get a prescription. But the Lord God said tonight, those that need healing in their body and a miracle, even those on Facebook, God said, I'm giving you a prescription. Because pray and move in the gifts and healings and the work of the miracles and I can pray you can be instantly healed but sometimes healing is gradual for as the lepers went they were cleansed and God said sometimes you've got to take some healing scriptures and begin to play them over yourself and say with the stripes of Jesus I'm healed so I want you I'm giving you a healing prescription begin to take every healing scripture go look it up at Google if you don't have it in your lexicon uh, go look up healing scriptures in the Bible and I want you to go down with every one of those and the next week and begin to speak and, and over yourself and over everyone that is sick that you know um, and I want you to get literacy uh, for every sick person I want everyone on here and everybody on Facebook Live to find at least five people that you can intercede for daily and we also want to intercede all of those for every state where every shooting has um, happened and every state where all the states everybody in each one of their states or their countries I want a, we had a woman of God give a word of prophecy that each one of us need to be praying 30 minutes at least every day for our state I live in the state of Florida okay um, woman of God in the Netherlands over there um, and Pakistan we need to be praying at least 30 minutes a day covering the gunshots with the uh, gun shops with the blood of Jesus covering um, you know the stores at the community uh, um from these uh, you know, attacks in the enemy. My bishop said it like this. He said, it's not about race, though it is a race war that the enemy's trying to start. Watch this. But it's about the devil being loose. Come on, y'all. These shootings, because the, the one that happened in Tulsa was an African-American man that did it. There was one in Buffalo that was a white man. Come on. There was a Latino man in Texas. Come on, y'all. It's not about race. Watch this. Now, they might be hitting each other because of grace. Watch this. But it's really, watch this. Revelation 12, 12 says the devil has come down with great wrath upon the church because he knows, but he has but a short time. So the, the devil loose. That's what we got to pray against. Demons will lose. Devils, churches, my bishop said it like this. Churches got to get back to, to casting out demons. Come on. Healing the sick. Cleansing the lepers. Raising the dead. Come on, y'all. Um, we got to get back. The, the finished works of the cross, healing, miracle, signs of wonder. Thank you, Jesus. God, I think you're going to show up with your power, with your glory. Signs, wonders, healing, and miracles. So we're just going to yield our bodies as an instrument of righteousness, according to Romans 6 and 19. That you, you can do your work. Send me, I'll go. Come on, you guys. You got to speak it out. Speak it out loud. Say, God, send I will go wherever you tell me to go in this hour. God, and I know you will provide the finances. You will provide vision for the vision. You will provide everything we need in this hour. God, we thank you right now. We bless your name in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And um, I'm going to go ahead and yield the mic to my little um, brother, Prophet Sean. Are you there, man? God. Brother Sean, you there? Let's mute whatever else. Mike. Let me see. Let's mute everybody's mic real quick. Okay. Uh, Sean, you there? Maybe he doesn't want to pray. But okay, we're just going to keep flowing. We're going to keep flowing. Um, Woman of God, um, you does your daughter want to pray? Pri uh, Pristine, are you there? Pristine? She might. I think she's a bit shy. Yeah. She's oh, there. it's okay. It's okay. Okay. We'll just can continue to keep praying, you guys. I want you to just keep praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we can go back down the line. Um, Chazia, you want to continue? and We'll just keep flowing. We'll keep flowing because I just got done. So you keep, I'm yielding the mic to you in Jesus' name.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Father, once again for your hallelujah, the powerful anointing. Hallelujah for your sweet, gentle presence. Hallelujah over each one of us, Father God. We magnify your name. We honor you. We exalt your name. Hallelujah. It's not about us. It's just about you. Our Lord, you take our glory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father God, for every prayer that has been, Father God, lifted up. And we thank you that you have been faithful and committed to answer every prayer. We thank you that no weapon formed against this revival tent is not going to prosper. I thank you, Father God, for the expansion of this revival tent across the states and across the nation of the United States over to other nations around the globe in the name of Jesus. And right now, I decree and declare over hallelujah this expansion in the name of jesus we thank you father god hallelujah and right now even father god i lift up the mighty anointed hallelujah whistle mighty united man of god apostle james Milney, father god i thank you for the anointing for the grace for the great and glory that has been hallelujah over him in the name of jesus for his devotion father god for the spiritual intelligence for the for the knowledge father god for the power for your grace upon his life I decree and declare divine protection over your son, Father, in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare Psalm 91 over him right now, Father God. I thank you for your angels and will disguise over him, around him. We buy our spirit of life back in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, Father God, that your son is rising and shining and taking over nations in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, the mind of Christ, the sound mind, the right direction, divine strategies, Father God, for him, and the genuine anointed believers to cover him in prayers, more prayer warriors, Father God, as he, Father God, as he is in the front line, Father God, and we stand by his side, Father God, we thank you, Father God, that, Father God, you have made him a voice to the nations, not only to United States. Father God, we thank you, Father God, God for the global calling upon his life, and you are increasing him in our side. You are increasing favor upon him. You are increasing strength. Hallelujah. You are increasing resources. You are increasing intelligence and the wisdom, Father God. I thank you for the fresh revelations, fresh downloads that are even coming over him right now, Father God. I thank you for the eagle, hallelujah, that he is like eagle soaring high, Father God. I thank you for that higher, uh, that for higher move, Father God, that he's soaring high in the midst of even every, Father God, every situation right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, Father God, Psalm 23, Father God, I decree and declare the blessings, hallelujah, over him, overflowing blessings, abundance of favor, abundance of wealth, abundance of intelligence, abundance of wisdom, Father God, abundance of joy and peace over him right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, that through his anointed vessel, we are connecting here, we are here together, Father God, and we decree and declare your divine, Father God, protection over your son. We thank you, Father God, each one that has been connected, Father God. Connect the right voices. Connect the right gentlemen people together on this platform with your son of Hallelujah, with your son, Father God. We buy every scheme of the enemy. We buy every hallelujah agenda of the enemy. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus, hallelujah, is settling all the matters. The blood of Jesus is covering, Father God, your son and your each one of us and our families. I thank you, Father God, the atmosphere, hallelujah, over that, over that area where the state of honor is going to be over Georgia. It's shifted right now in the name of Jesus. We release the sound of victory. We decree and declare mass deliverance in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that there are going to be sons and daughters to be raised up through this tent revival. There will be more voices raised up during this revival, and the lives are not going to remain the same. There is going to be divine acceleration over your kingdom work. There will be hallelujah in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare unusual, uncommon express, unusual express in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, for the souls that are going to be saved, Father God, in the name of Jesus, by the precious blood of Jesus, 
by the dunamis power of the Holy Ghost because it's not the might or the power, but only by the Spirit of God. I thank you, Father God, for your fresh fire and your even glory coming right now, covering hallelujah, covering the land, covering the nations, Father God. And this revival fire is increasing. This revival fire is spreading in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for fresh strength, for fresh strength. Empower us, Lord. Holy Spirit, empower us. Empower us. Empower us. Refresh each one of us, Father God, that we grow in your intimacy. We grow, hallelujah, hallelujah, in your strength, in your wisdom, Father God. Help us to discern, Father God, and walk in love, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Stir up, stir up, stir up the gifts of Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Anoint us fresh. Anoint your side for suggestionally fresh, Father God. Anoint him fresh, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for covering each one of us as we are the body of Christ. I thank you for the tremendous move that is about to take place, that is already taking place, that is hallelujah, changing lives transforming lives. The Son of God came to destroy the works of the enemy. We thank you. We rise up. I thank you, Father God, that we are rising. We are shining for your kingdom and glory. The past is gone forever. We thank you. Hallelujah for the new strength. Hallelujah for the next new greater levels, for the new glory. Father God, we thank you for that weighty glory that is coming upon your people, that is removing every form of hindrance, that is pushing back the darkness, Father God that is bringing light, life, and resurrection over your people, Father God, over this generation in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for the mighty move of Holy Ghost and what you are about to do for this revival time and for this mass soul salvation, Father God, for setting the captives free, for restoring people, for restoring the backsliders, even, Father God, for renewing their strife, Father God, for renewing their first love to you, Father God. I Thank you, Father God. Holy Spirit, help each one of us as we surrender and we submit and we say yes. Lord, hear us and use us. Use us, hallelujah, according to your riches, according to your grace, according to your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah, Father. We just continue to host your presence holy spirit we just think your presence is here so strong your anointing is flowing i see some people over on facebook we just bless them um i know they're praying with us i see some mighty prayer warriors over on facebook just bless you um and thank you for coming on and just praying with us um just praying in the holy ghost i see some even um uh, pastors and prophetesses and prophets and leaders and apostles god bless all the fivefold leaders on facebook did you just stream i can't really see the stream but i can i'm because we're here on zoom but i just bless you in the name of the lord i know you're there in spirit um and so i see uh um evelyn are you here i saw you come in yes i'm here can you pray a moment god yeah yeah i can so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Father, we want to honor you. We want to exalt you, Lord Jehovah God, because of what you have done. Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, Father, because you're, you're so gracious, Lord Jehovah God. Father, we thank you because there is none like you, Father. We know, Father, that you have done it already, Lord Jehovah God. Father, but we, we continue to plead the blood of Jesus over that ground, Father, where that, that tent camp will be held. Oh, Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over that tent camp, Lord Jehovah God, right now in the name of Jesus, Father. Even right now, I command the heavens to open, Father, that there be angels all over that place, Lord Jehovah God, ascending and descending even right now in the name of just Father, we call unto the atmosphere, Father of salvation, Father, for he who, want, who wins souls is wise, Lord Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we cover all the prophets and the prophetess that will be ministering in that place with the blood of just Father, we bind all the attacks, Lord, they may, that may come, all the backlashes that may come after them, Lord Jehovah God, Father, to try and prevent them, Father, from getting to that place, Lord Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus, Makarabo, let your glory come upon them, Lord Jehovah God, for you tell us all to call unto you and that you will answer, Lord Jehovah God. Father, we call, Lord Jehovah God, that you will even call unto those lost souls, Father, that you want to be there, Lord Jehovah God. Father, may you release them, Lord Jehovah God, even right now. May you release the captive, Lord Jehovah God, Father, so that they can get there, Father, those who don't have transportation, Lord, Father, to that place of 
Father, may you provide for them, Lord Jehovah God, those who, who desire to be there, Lord Jehovah God, Father, to be set free, to be delivered, Lord Jehovah God, Father, bring them, Lord Father, open their ways, Father, for you are a way maker, Father, you make ways out of no way, Lord Jehovah God, make ways for those, Lord Jehovah God, who want to be there, but they will not, they cannot make it, Father, due to lack, Lord Jehovah God, for you speak provision for them, even upon this time, Lord, even upon other ministers, Lord Jehovah God, we speak provision, Lord Jehovah God, Father, we break the spirit of worry, Lord Jehovah God, of where food or anything will come from, Lord Jehovah God, Father, we ask, Lord Jehovah God, just like Psalm 23 tells us, Lord Jehovah God, that you are our shepherd, that we shall not want, Father, let them know, Father, that you shall not want, Father, for you supply, according to your heavenly riches and glory, Father, we ask you, Father, to even release, Lord Jehovah God, fire to surround that camp, Father, for you tell us all that we do not need a wall, Father, because you will be a wall of fire around us, Lord Father, surround that camp, Lord Jehovah God, whoever, whoever may want to come there, Father, to do harm, Lord Jehovah God, Father, whoever may want to come there, Father, to put castles, Lord Jehovah God, we break them, Lord Jehovah God, we break white castles, Lord Jehovah God, that may be spoken over the people there, Lord Jehovah God, we ask you to release the anointing, the grace of Jehovah God, the grace, Father, let the Holy Spirit move fresh, fresh anointing over everybody who will be there, Lord, or the prophet, or the prophetess, Lord, all your servants, those who will be filled again, Lord Jehovah God, those who are lost, that will be found, Lord Jehovah God, that your spiritual minister to the house, Lord Jehovah God, even right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, we cover the people who become traveling with God, Lord Jehovah God. Father, we cover their cars with the blood of Jesus, Lord. We rebuke the spirit of accidents, Lord. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We cover the families, the children of the prophets and the prophetess who be ministering to this place, Lord. All the musicians, all the worship leaders and the worship team, Lord. Father, we cover their families, Lord Jehovah God, with the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let your name be glorified, Lord Jehovah God. Let people be one, Lord Jehovah God. Let people be saved. Lord Jehovah God, let your men and women of God, Lord Jehovah God, see you more mightily, Lord Jehovah God, because Father, we know, Lord Jehovah God, that when we ask, Lord Jehovah Father, that you give, Lord Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we worship and we exalt you because you have already done it, Lord. Father, we thank you because you have already done it, Lord Jehovah God. We praise your name, Lord Jehovah God, because your glory is already there, because there is already preparing and just preparing the ground. Lord, in Rakoto Korobo, for a great harvest, hallelujah. Makarabo Sheka Torobo, in Rakatarabasi Korobo, in Rakotorobo, we cancel the assignment of the enemy against that ground of Jehovah God. Makarabasi Korobo, in Rakata Uraka. Oh, 
worship you, Lord, and we praise you. We glorify and magnify you, Lord, because there is none like you. Hallelujah. Whether you are worthy and you are greatly to be praised, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We lift you up on high and we exalt you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, God. Thank you, Father. Oh, God, we bless your name for this, this anointing, this sweet anointing that's flowing on this life. God, we thank you, Father. God, I praise you right now. Prophet Sean, um, are you there, man of God? We're going to pray over, over you in a minute, but I want you to go ahead and pray. And we're going to pray with you and start to break off some of that um, that's going on with you. And sometimes it's good just to start praying. And I want you to, if, if you can't, we'll just pray over you. But I want to, I want you to try to pray, okay? If you're, if you're there. And, yeah, and then I'll pray over you. I can't hear you. <clears throat> Oh, you, can you hear me now, man? Yeah, I can hear you. Zatala monde gilivinans, grunte gilivedea nacuntes, livetea nacunta lavandia. Heavenly Father, I just come before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. Today, Father, we just pray, Father, for the abundance of rain, oh God. Everywhere there's been delay, limitation, Lord, we break it off now in the mighty, powerful name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Father, the God that answers by fire, just like in the time of Elijah, Lord, we decree, Lord, you will answer your people like fire, Lord, against the mockers, against the false prophets, against the false enemies, Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I decree, Father, suddenly it will start to come to your people. All of a sudden, Lord, when things look wrong, Lord, when things look like there's not going to be any shift, Lord, I decree there will be a sudden shift, Lord, a sudden rain, Lord, a rain that won't be foreseen, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we decree, Father, you will break every spirit of limitation, Lord, every spirit of, of chaining down, Lord, of torment, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, for you are our Father, Lord, and we know that if God is for us, nothing can be against us, Lord. I just decree, Father, that you would touch every soul, Lord, that is full of sickness, that is full of oppression, Lord. I decree supernatural healing would touch them, Father, that the report of God will overthrow the report of the doctors in the name of Jesus, Lord. I decree, Father, strength, Father, strength, Father, to keep moving, Lord, strength to keep on persevering, oh God. Just like the three Hebrew boys, Father, they said, even if the Lord doesn't show up, we will still not bow down to your God. So I decree, Lord, we will have that same strength, Lord, that when the people are in the fire, Lord, we will be promoted in the midst of the fire, Lord. When they mock us in the fire, I decree that fourth angel would show up, Lord, just as he did with Shadrach and Benigo and the three Hebrew boys in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We decree fire, Lord, fire in our prayer closets, fire in our in our petitions, Lord, pray on um, fire in our fasting, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Just pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Father. We just bless um, Prophet Sean. I really want you just to intercede for um, Prophet Sean right now. Father, we just thank you right now. Right now, I take authority and I bind every attack of the enemy on his life in the name of Jesus. Right now, I rebuke the spirit of death and the spirit of suicide. I bind it in Jesus' name. Loose him now in Jesus' name. I bind you, Satan. I command you to go. Loose him now. Go. In Jesus' name, right now, loose them right now. In the name of Jesus, I bind every attack of witches, warlocks, right now. In the name of Jesus, every hex, vex, and curse, I break it right now. Every generational curse, I sever it with the sword of the spirit right now. Angels of the Lord, be released now. Now go to his house and begin to encamp around about him and deliver him right now. Father, we thank you right now that deliverance is happening right now. Even now, man of God, I want you to lift your hands, begin to praise God, because I'm sending the word of God to heal you right now and deliver you from 
from all destruction of the enemy. Right now, I send the word of God into your body. I command dunamis power to come into your body right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet in the name of Jesus. Because we have the name above every name. We have the name above depression. We have the name above anxiety. We have the name above fear. We have a name above suicide. Right now, we bind it in Jesus' name. And we cast it out. We command Satan to loose him now in the name of Yeshua. In the name of Jesus right now. We apply the blood of Jesus over his mind, body, soul, and spirit. Over his house right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, I take authority right now over the witchcraft curse that is coming through the bloodline of the generations right now. I break it and I sever it. God, we stand in the gap because it said, and your prophet said in Ezekiel, the chapter 13, Lord, that there was no one you could find, no one to stand in the gap and make up the hedge. But we stand in the gap right now tonight and we make up the hedge for the man of God. Right now, we repent of every sin known and unknown. We we, we, we forgive everybody that we have any odd against right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we can be set free from any infirmity, any sickness, any, any uh, bondage that the enemy is trying to put on us right now in the name of Jesus, Father. We go back to the third, fourth generation, back to Adam, and we sever every bloodline curse in Sean's life right now and his family on the on the father's side and the mother's side and those that are in his family that are doing witchcraft even in the very house that he lives God I pray against them right now I pray against the witchcraft I don't pray necessarily to destroy the witch suffer not a witch to live but I destroy that you say I, I pray that you will save them but destroy the works of the devil which is witchcraft against the mind bending spirits every spirit of mind bending every seducing spirit every doctrine of demon right now we bind Jezebel and Ahab and every other spirit. We command him to go. Loose him now and leave that house. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. He is a temple of the Holy Ghost. He has been joined to the Lord. He has become one spirit with the Lord Jesus Christ. He belongs to Jesus. You can't have it, Satan. We take him back. It says, be careful. Um, have compassion on some, but be careful pulling them out of the fire that do not be... Uh, Spotted by the garment of the flesh, but we pull him right now as a brother in Christ out of the fire, right now, out of the fire, out of the fire in Jesus' name. Right now, we're pulling you out, man of God. I want you to see yourself coming out right now. You're coming out. See, you need to get out of that place because of all the witchcraft is in that place. It affects your mind. It causes seducing spirits and mind-bending spirits to an octopus spirits and water spirits and monitoring spirits. Right now, we bind them all. We bind Apollyon and Abaddon and every spirit of destruction. I would try to destroy him and take him out before his time. Right now, God, I bind it in Jesus' name as an apostle of Jesus Christ, and I command it to go. Loose him now, right now. Loose him right now. And I thank you, Father, right now, when you sent forth your word and you healed him and you delivered him from all destruction of the enemy. We decree and declare he shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. He shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. God, I thank you for healing his mind, his soul wounds. Because this is a season, God said, man of God, that I'm about ready to restore your soul. And I'm going to lead you and pass the righteousness for my name's sake. Yea, yo, the walk through that valley of shadow of death. You shall fear no evil, Lord said, for I am with you. For my rod and my staff, they comfort you. I prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. I'm going to anoint your head with oil and your cup shall surely run over. Surely, he said, watch this, man of God goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you will dwell in my house forever says the lord so remember my goodness and my mercy endures forever call on the name of jesus if you have um um, um, any kind of um, oppression from now on don't forget Joel 2 and 32 all who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved or that word is so so meaning delivered healed set free and made prosperous so father I thank you for the shalom shalom of God the shalom shalom of Jesus Christ coming over him and coming over every other person that is on here every person every prayer warrior that's on Facebook live oh God we cover him in the blood of Yeshua Jesus right now um, we decree and declare no weapon formed against him shall prosper and every tongue that would rise against him in judgment in this hour, God, we shall condemn. For this is our heritage, the heritage of the service of the Lord. Their righteousness is from me. God said, my word will not go out and return to me void tonight, but it will accomplish that what I sent it out to do. And it will prosper, God said, in the thing and I sent it. God said, I watch over my word to perform it says the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, thank you for healing and miracles, signs and wonders, even a demonstration of spirit and power um, flowing right now. The Lord said, I'm giving you the spirit and the power of Elijah, man of God. Luke 1 17, he says that you shall go forth in the spirit and the power. That means you shall go forth in the character and in the power and the demonstration of Elijah. The Lord said, I called you to be a last days Elijah, but said, God said, you're going to use you to turn the hearts of the fathers back to the children and the hearts of 
the children back to the fathers because this man of God is about 20 years old. He's a young prophet. Come on, y'all. We got to start praying for gener Generation Z. Come on, y'all. Generation, not just the millennial generation or Generation X, which I'm in, right, or the baby boomers, but we're praying for Generation Z because the enemy's trying to take out our children. But the Lord said, man of God, I'm going to give you and those around you the spirit and power of Elijah. They're going to turn the hearts of the children back to the father, the hearts of the apostolic fathers back to their children. They're going to turn the wisdom of the disobedient, watch this, to the just, to make a people that are prepared for the Lord, because the Lord is coming back soon. And the Lord said, I've called you to be a last day's glory care. The enemy would try to attack your mind. I want you to go back after this and listen to the teaching that I did about the dividing of soul and spirit and joints and marrow and uh, the, the thoughts and the intents of the heart that the word of God deals with. According to 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 23, man of God, that God said, I'm going to um, sanctify you wholly. And this is for everybody on here. Your, your whole spirit, soul, and body shall be preserved blameless till the coming of Jesus Christ. So the, I, I believe it is a, uh, Peter says, watch this. He says this, go forth in the power and um, wait for the promise uh, of the revelation of Jesus Christ. That's what it says. I got to get the exact scripture. But what he's saying is, is the revelation of Jesus Christ will set you free from every attack of the enemy. I prophesy. And as a prophet of God, man of God, God is increasing your wisdom. I, I see the spirit of wisdom coming upon you very strongly and also the seven spirits of God. The Lord said, I'm going to give you wisdom such as not been seen in the earth because the Lord said, uh, you have to understand that just like we have viruses of COVID that are mutating, so the enemy is mutating demonic spirits. And demonic spirits are getting stronger and stronger. That's why you have to pray in this hour. Watch this. If you don't pray and worship and pray in the spirit and fast, the demonic spirits begin to mutate. I, I talked to um, my spiritual daughter, um, Evelyn, today about this. She sent me um, a message, and I and the and Lord gave me a word for her that talked about these demons, watch this, are shape-shifting. As in the days of Noah, so also shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man, meaning as they were eating and drinking and all that, then the flood came, watch this, and that day the flood came to destroy the wicked that was in the earth, like what we were seeing with the shooters and all that, but the, the wicked was partly because of the Nephilim, come on, the, the, the children of Satan, the children of Belial, and that's what we're seeing with these shooters all over the place and we're going to pray for that here in a minute but i decree and declare man of god because of your um, generation you're called to this generation but you're not only going to touch your generation you're going to touch the generation before you and the ones after you you're going to you're going to be strong in the millennial generation and even to the generational extras um it's just that you had to go through a little this trial it's not little but i say that you suffer with them you will also be glorified and the lord said think it not strange this fiery trial that has come to try you because the trying of your faith will work patience but let patience have her perfect work that you might be entire complete and lack nothing and god said um, that I'm going to give you the grace that is sufficient in this hour. Romans 5, 17, man of God, write it down because that's going to be your scripture um, in this hour, the Lord said. Hallelujah. For he said, if death reign by one, much more they that receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. The Lord said, I'm going to give you so much grace. I'm going to give you such an abundance of grace and a gift of righteousness that no devil in hell will be able to, to touch you. I believe it is in 1 John 5, verse 18. It says that he as born of God keepeth himself, watch this, and the wicked one touches him not because there's a place you can get in God, woman of God, um, uh, Elisa, you talked about the eagle because you get to a place and they're soaring in the realm of the spirit that no devil, you're flying higher than every other bird, every other vulture. No vultures can get you. Vultures stand for demons, right? Um, and so those demons can't get you because you're flying so high and you're soaring with the winds of the spirit. Come on, y'all. And you're not using so much energy all the time like all these other flapping birds, but you're soaring in the realm of the spirit. And I see you, man of God, in this hour soaring. Um, the Lord said, above the height of the enemy. And God said, I'm going to lift you up above your enemies in this hour, says the Lord. I'm going to train your fingers to war that, so that your hand can bend the bow of steel. The Lord said, I'm going, to, I'm going to send you so you can leap over a wall. I'm going to teach you how to leap over the obstacles. And, and some of them you might have to leap over. Some of them you have to face um, right on. But the Lord said, I'm giving you the spirit of Joshua and Caleb. Because it said in um, number 13 that they had another spirit within them. And that was an excellent spirit. 
just like Daniel, Daniel 6, verse 3, that he had an excellent spirit within him. And Daniel 5, 12, that he could understand all dreams, mysteries, dark sayings. Come on, y'all. Um, uh, and, and the dissolving of doubts and all this stuff that that by that spirit of excellence and prophesy to you, man of God, God's going to be the spirit of excellence. This is a trial, but within the next two to three days, you're coming out completely and you're going to look back and you're say, my God, I'm glad I went through that because I learned something through it and, and, and I gained some power through it. And, and um, I'm going to be able to go forth in victory. First John 5, 4, man of God, write it down. For though those that are born of God overcometh the world, that word is Nikael, the same word we get for Nike, right? Uh, as conquer. Those who overcome, um, born of God overcome the world. And this is the victory. Watch this. The overcometh our world, the overcometh the world, even our faith. So it's going to be by faith in this hour. Walk by faith, not by sight. And so we just take authority over the carnal mind that is enmity against God. The carnal mind produces death, but the spiritual mind, life and peace. And we decree and declare and release the shalom, shalom over the man of God. We release the shalom, shalom over each prayer warrior tonight. Everyone involved in the in the revival, everyone on Facebook Live, everyone that will watch the replay, we're releasing the shalom, shalom of God over you tonight. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God, we bind every um, demonic spirit of violence and every demonic spirit of, of murder that is coming into these children um, that uh, even that are causing them to go shoot up places. We bind that spirit that comes to the video games that as they're playing those video games, the spirit of, ver of violence and murder comes in. So we bind those spirits right now, even in the state of, of Florida where I'm at. And I plead the blood. See, I want you to pray for your states at least 30 minutes a day. The Lord is saying and your countries, wherever you're at, pray against these shootings and other things that the Lord tells you cover your state, cover your city um, we're covering Jessup, Georgia right now because we're going to Jessup, but I'm covering Je uh, uh, Georgia and Florida right now, and so I plead the blood of Jesus over Florida, over the gunshots shops, over the police department over even those in the streets God, draw them back to you, Jesus um, it says, if I be lifted up, I'll draw them in to, you, to me and the Lord said, I didn't choose you I mean, you didn't choose me, but I chose you so it takes the Lord drawing people now 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 god can do that just by appearing to them like uh, jesus appeared to paul on the road to damascus and it said he continually appeared to paul if you look at um about if you see the account of of acts chapter 9 you go to acts chapter 22 and acts chapter 26 you'll see that there's another account that he count he gave to king grippa um he talking about that the lord continually watch this appeared to him and made him know the gospel by revelation watch this and by visions so jesus himself appeared to paul and no man taught him the gospel now god is uh, jesus is appearing to people like that now right but he also needs us to move through he needs us to be praying he needs us to lay hands on the sick right we are his vessels and we are his conduits. So he needs us. And so he's sending us. He's, he's sending us out. And we are going out into the world. Right. And we are um, bringing Christ to them. Meaning we need to preach the gospel. That's why we, when we preach the gospel. I will draw all men unto me. But we have to preach. He said, it said in Romans chapter 10. How shall they hear without a preacher? And how can they preach? Watch this. Unless they have been sent apostolic right unless they have been sent right and so it's important because god's raising up preachers in this hour we're not just prophets and evangelists and all that but the fivefold but preachers just those that preach 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 and preach the word of god with the holy ghost sent down from heaven peter said um um that 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 these uh, prophets in the old time watch this um, they would get this revelation about the coming of Christ. And that's the same kind of revelation that we're getting at Issachar type anointing to know times and seasons, what, what, what we ought to do. Right. And so this Issachar uh, is first Chronicles 12, 32 anointing is coming on people to, to understand what we're going to have to do in this hour. We need to know what kind of wisdom, um, the wisdom that we need to lead the people in this hour so father and it said that those prophets had that in the old testament i believe it's about first peter 1 11 um and it says this that the the spirit that was in the prophets way back then watch this all was the spirit of christ the same spirit that's in us that they're born again it's a mystery and it said that they prophesied of the things to come 
by those who speak to you now by the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. So as the preachers are preaching, they're preaching by the Holy Ghost, but they're revealing by the spirit of Christ in us the mystery of Christ, right? We are stewards of the mystery, it says. And we're supposed to watch this make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery of Christ. You're going to see that in Ephesians, I believe, uh, chapter three. Um, all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery of Christ. And that the, to the intent, watch this, that the principalities and powers and ruling spirits of darkness in the heavenly places might be known the manifold wisdom of God. So as we're praying, we're preaching, we're evangelizing, whatever we're doing, we're, we're, we're actually we're actually making these all these principalities and powers and these demons that, that says the angels desire to look into the things that we are doing. How much more do the devils, right? Because they're trying to eavesdrop on the body of Christ. They're trying to monitor us, right? So we're going to bind all these monitoring spirits. That's around you too, Prophet uh, Sean. Right now, bind every one of those monitoring spirits, eavesdroppers, scanners, and watchers. Because if there was watchers that fell, then there are watchers, right? There are angels that are watchers on the heavenly host side and then there's demonic watchers or fallen angels and so we bind every demonic watcher eavesdropper scanner we destroy by fire their tapes and their um, recording equipment that it's trying to take it back to the kingdom of darkness um to accuse us what they do is satan is the accuser of the brother so he tries to record us he can't he, he's not omnipresent he's not everywhere at once so he takes these monitoring spirits and starts to record people and, and then takes it up to the throne room notice that the sons of god appeared before uh god and this and, and it says satan came with them right and and he sa it says in revelation 12 he is accuser of the brethren so he is trying to accuse you and me um and so god will like you know um chastise us or whatever right but god said my grace is sufficient for my power is made perfect in your weakness in this hour. And I, my grace is going to be so abundant. It's abundance of grace, Romans 5, 17. And I give to righteousness that the enemy will not be able to frustrate. I prophesied this the other night. My grace is sufficient. It's all sufficient. God said to tap into his grace in this hour. Prophet Sean and others that are listening. Because I'm just ministering by the spirit of God right now. In the name of Jesus. And I just bless you, man of God. I know it's 713. We said we're going to go by uh, to 7. Uh, I appreciate everybody that came on and prayed those on Facebook. Um, I want, if anybody, if everybody has, um, we're going to break this fast right now. I'm going to show you how to break a fast. You break a fast. God bless you, uh, Judy. Good to have you. Good prayer too. That was powerful. Um, if you guys have communion stuff, grab it. A good way to break a fast is with communion with the Lord's supper. Okay. If you guys have, I'll give it, I'll give you about two or three minutes for people if they want to get, uh, just some grape juice or a cracker or whatever. And we're going to break this fast right now um, by taking the Lord's Supper together for, according to first. And those on Facebook can do that with us too. Um, first Corinthians chapter 11. Let's go ahead and read it because, you know, I can speak it and I, I can speak it, but I'm going to go ahead and read it. And, and then um, I'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and take the Lord's Supper. That'll give people a few minutes to get the the um, articles for the partaking of the lord's supper tonight to break this fast and father we thank you let's go ahead in first corinthians chapter 11 verse 17 now and this that i declare unto you i uh praise you not that you come together not for the better but for the worse for first of all when you came together in the church I hear that there are divisions among you, and I partly believe it, my God. For there must be also heresies among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among my God. I didn't plan on, on reading that scripture. Look at that, verse 19, 1 Corinthians eleven nineteen. 19, for people that are going to go back and, and hear it, because I was going to just read the lord's supper part but the holy spirit took me there okay for there must be also watch this heresies among you my god that they which are approved watch this may be made manifest among you my god you guys hear that because it said there will be a great falling away there's an apostasy happening right that the love of many will wax cold and lawlessness or iniquity will abound uh, in these last days 
and the Lord is showing me this right now in the scripture, that there must be these heresies or what really apostasy is falling away, but a heresy is a false doctrine, right? Um, and we see a lot of doctrines of demons out here and seducing spirits. But the Lord said there must be these heresies uh, amongst the, because he's talking to the body of Christ here, that they which are truly called or approved uh, may be manifest among you. That's a powerful word right there. Uh, verse 20, um, when you come together, therefore, listen, into one place that's what we are this is not to eat the lord's supper for for in eating over one taketh before other his own supper and one is hungry and another is drunken so really what paul is saying is there's many were uh, weak and sick among them because they didn't observe the lord's supper correctly meaning that for one of thing we're supposed to take it together and the other day, now you can take it alone because there's healing in, in the Lord's Supper. I take it sometimes every day if I need to. But he's talking about when you do come together to take the Lord's Supper, you got all these people. They're hungry because people just got out of a fast. And I understand that. Um, I might even go another two a day or two just because, you know, um, you know I'm feeling it. Right. But I'm saying I'm going to break it tonight with you guys just because we we, we agreed to do the three days together. So that's that's what I'm saying. So it's important for us to be on one place and one accord so that the power of God can flow at Jessup, um, but here tonight even. And so he's saying when you come together in one place, is this not the Lord's Supper? For everyone eateth or taketh something of their own or they're drunk, right? But verse 22 says, what I have, you not houses. So he just goes on to say this stuff, but let's keep going. Let's start at verse 23. Everybody right there, get your get your um, um, communion articles together and we're going to get ready to go. OK, so it says verse 23, for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and he said, take eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do and remember it's me. So let's take the bread right now. If you have the bread right now, God, first of all, we give thanks for this is your body, Christ. We thank you for the body. Uh, um, he broke it and he gave thanks for it. It's, it's a stand. It's a symbol of Christ being broken on the cross. Isaiah 53, 5, he was wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquities, the chastised with our pieces upon him, with his stripes we are healed. So when you take the bread, it stands for the broken body of Jesus Christ that you could be healed, that we could be healed. Okay, that is why there is healing in communion, y'all. So as we break this fast together, God, we thank you. We bless you. We thank you for your body. Um, we thank you for it. We break it and we partake of it together, the body of Christ. the body of christ thank you jesus for our healing after that he took the cup and he blessed it come on y'all and gave thanks for it we thank you for this blood of jesus that remits and cleanses us from all sin all all sickness all disease hallelujah after that in the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped saying this cup is a new testament in my blood this do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as for often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death until he come. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. We bless you. We thank you for it. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus. Thank you for your blood, Jesus. We worship you and we praise you. We thank you that that blood remits all our sins. Hallelujah. It covers our sins. We thank you, Jesus, for your blood, the spotless Lamb of God that died on the cross of Calvary for everyone that would come to him. So I'm giving a call of salvation to those that might be on Facebook listening. It says in John 3, 16 and 17, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, 
but through him, the world might be saved. So if you are just coming on Facebook and you're just feeling something in your heart, I want you to know that's the Lord Jesus Christ. And he wants to save you. He wants to redeem you. He wants to cover your sins. He wants to forgive you. He wants to give you a new life that you can walk in a newness of life. It talks about Romans 6, chapter 4. Hallelujah. And he's going to break you off the curse that is the law. Galatians 3.13 said um, he redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us. That the blessing is that Abraham could come on the Gentiles through faith that we might receive the promise of the Holy Spirit. So the promise of the Holy Spirit, once you get born again, you accept Jesus in your heart. Repent of all your sin. Repent and believe the gospel tonight. Repent and believe the gospel. The gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ that he came, he suffered, died, and was buried. Uh, he suffered on a cross for our sins. He died on the third day. He rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. That's 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 3 is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it says in Romans 10, 9 and 10, if, there, if you will confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. And so we're just asking to come. It says that you will be translated out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. So we're asking to become a part of God's family tonight. We're just extending um, a call to salvation to anyone that was here to replay or that is on the Facebook live tonight. I'm um, a call to salvation. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. He's calling you. You know you've heard his voice calling you. You know you felt that you were crying and, and, and you didn't have anybody to talk to. But the Lord said, I'm talking to you. I love you with an everlasting love. With loving kindness am I drawing you to me, says the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. So come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Come to him. And we just bless you. We pray, God, now that you will baptize him with the Holy Ghost and the fire. God, fill him with your Holy Spirit. Because it says as we repent, we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So we just repent of every um, uh, every sin, every everything that we've done, every unforgiveness in our heart. And we ask the Lord Jesus Christ to come into our heart and be not only our, our Lord, but our Savior. Lord, be our Savior, not only our Savior, but our Lord. And, and save those that might hear the replay, God. And because it's you that saves them, Jesus. It's you are the one that saves them. And we just pray for salvation tonight, soul salvation, not only at Jessup, Georgia, but every message we preach from this day forward. Lord, we'll just give an altar call. Fill the altars, Lord. Fill the altars with those people at Jessup, Georgia. God, fill the altars with people that need healing, that need miracles, that that, that need to, to, to feel uh, uh, something new. That need to be baptized in the Holy Ghost and fire. Those that don't have the evidence of speaking in tongues, God, let them receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. Let people um, be delivered. We pray for deliverance and healing and, and soul salvation. Let the drug addicts and the gangsters come in from off the street as they hear the preaching of the gospel coming from that tent revival. God, I pray that the alcoholics will drop their bottles and the drug addicts will come and put their drugs and alcohol before the altar. Yes, God, we're praying for souls, souls, Lord. You sent us out to be um, souls. The, he who wins souls is wise, you said. He or she who wins souls is wise. And so we thank you for soul salvation, God. We thank you for those that may be on Facebook or might hear the replay. Oh, God, hallelujah, that need you, Jesus, like ever before. All those on here, mothers and fathers, the Lord said, um, that have been praying for your children, this is the time they're going to get saved. I promise you, because God said that, that, that there are evangelists and prophets coming out and revivals are breaking out. Just find a place at a revival uh, somewhere or a church that moves in um, uh, the gifts to the spirit and moves in deliverance and healing and take them there. The Lord said, I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there in this hour because it is the hour of revival. It is the hour of the reformation of the church and the last great awakening before the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm sending the spirit and power of Elijah to learn the hearts of the fathers back to the children, the hearts of the children back to the fathers, the disobedient to the wisdom of just, that I might have a people, hallelujah, ready to make ready, prepared for me to come back, says the spirit of old Lord. So I've anointed a remnant um, to be my witnesses. Hallelujah. God said, can I get a witness? 
And so God needs a witness of his power, a witness of his glory, witness of salvation, witness that he healed your body, he set you free. Come on, that's the word testify. It's the same word witness I preached at the end of the night is Revelation 12, 11, but it's by the blood of the lamb and by what? The word of our witness or testimony. We overcome Satan, for we love not our own life to death. And so, we, God, we thank you for the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And it says the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. Revelation 19, verse 10. And we thank you for the spirit of prophecy flowing, God, um, continually, even in this meeting. Let 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 not just hear healing, miracle, signs, wonders, but let me move heavy and the gifts of the spirit and the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom and the prophetic anointing, God. Let that prophetic anointing, let me prophesy um, to people until they fall out god let me prophesy and give the words of knowledge that are so strong they're going to say nothing but nobody but god could know this nobody but the holy ghost can know this and i thank you god for anointing me with fresh oil According to Psalm 92 and 10, he anoints me with fresh oil and exalts my horn as of a wild ox. Hallelujah. I thank you for fresh oil, fresh glory, and fresh fire hitting right now. Fresh fire hitting every each and every person that came on tonight. Bless them, God, for their time tonight. We bless them in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for each and every one of them. We thank you for all the people on Facebook Live. We bless them in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for everyone that showed up tonight, everyone that participated, everyone that prayed everyone that were just listening um we bless you also in the name of jesus hallelujah we bless you also in the name of jesus so we thank you father we glorify you and we thank you for this prayer meeting in jesus name in jesus name bless you guys i love you i don't want to keep you any longer because i said seven o'clock at 7 30 so um you That's guys go get well. something to eat <laughs> You feel, uh, God bless you, man of God. Thank you for praying. Evangelist Marquise, Prophet Sean, Yvonne, Judy, Shazia, Elisa. God bless you, woman of God. Thank you for got you guys really participating. I appreciate you. Um, and let's go ahead and eat y'all and go break this fast, okay? I know Marquise is ready, and I appreciate you, man of God. I, I appreciate you. I really do. Appreciate the men you, of too. God. Yes. Yeah, yeah God's yeah. raising up men of God, man. Come on, y'all. We and I and I'm nothing against women. I love my women of God because nobody prays like those women of God. And we need those women of God praying, right? But we need to rise up the men of God. We need to bring the men of God out of the prisons. Come on. It says That's Isaiah, right. they're all locked in prison houses, right? Come on, y'all. We need people that are willing right. to go out into the prisons. Come on to the highways and byways, the marketplace prophets and evangelists right. right now. And, and even if in this man of God here, Marquise is an evangelist, a powerful one. I want you guys to follow him. Follow everyone that you 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 heard pray tonight. Um, very powerful men and women of God. And um, you, you could tell the prayer was sincere and powerful. My goodness, the Holy Spirit um, took over tonight. And so we just love you guys. I, I bless you. Let's go get something to eat. We'll, we're going to end like right now because it's 729. That'll be about two and a half hours. So. Love you guys in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon each and every one, not only on, on Zoom, but on Facebook Live, and give you his shalom peace that passes all understanding. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before his throne with exceeding joy and great glory to the only wise God be dominion, power, glory, and majesty now and forever. Amen and amen. Love you guys. God bless you. And you guys, if you could share this, it'd be great on your timelines. Love you guys. And we'll, we'll go ahead and um, end in about five or four seconds here.